Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 18th, but you know the timing is fluid. So we're just going to see what comes up. What kind of message do I have to deliver today? What kind of message do I have to deliver today? Ace of Cups. This is a flood of emotion. Okay, so it is. It's overwhelming emotion. And it could be good. It could be bad. But this is, it's like, uh, full, full, full of emotion. So it's going to be an emotional day. It's going to be an emotional time. Okay. And remember, time is fluid. Um... Oh God! It just feels like it's 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 just it's very, it's like um, emotions all over spilling out. Okay, it's it's very emotional time, very very emotional. Um, that's what it feels like. Temperance, woo! Yeah, it does. It feels like it's spilling out. It does. It feels like emotions coming out, and that makes complete sense. That just clarified what I was thinking. Yeah, it's like uh, going over, went over, because it went over here, and this is going overboard as well. Emotions being spilled out, going all over the place, uh, things being unbalanced. Uh, something is off. It feels like something is off. This is extremes. There's some sort of extremes here. Um I don't know if there's some sort of, it's out of control. There's some emotionally unstable. That's what we got. Emotionally unstable. So something is happening. Now, when the temperance comes out reverse, there, there could be some clumsiness. There could be a conflict. Um, there could be some tears. There could be mood swings. Something is going on. Something is off. There's a lack of balance. There's a lack of cooperation. There definitely could be emotions that are being expressed. It's a highly emotional time, put it that way. Very emotional. So get prepared for emotions to be all over the place, okay? That's what we got here. Emotions are going to be all over the place. I mean, so get prepared for that. This is right around the 18th. I usually don't date these, but for some reason I felt the need so, um, it's going to be a very emotional, there's going to be at least one day that is highly, highly emotional. Okay. Something is off and there's a need to re-examine. And when you have to express your feelings, um, things can get emotional and you think people can get frustrated. So I think there's going to be some frustrations here. I do. The world. The world, we have a major new beginning. One cycle is ending and a new cycle is beginning. Ending and beginning. So this is being in total balance. Somebody is learning a lesson, okay? And they're learning it the hard way or some, or they did learn it the hard way. Um, there could be a change of residence. Um, leaving the past behind. It's not easy by the looks of things. It's not easy. Um... Completing and beginning a new cycle. That's what we got here. Stepping into a new life. Leaving the past behind. And it's, a, it's an emotional change. And somebody's been resisting this change, but it's like you can't resist it anymore. It's time. It's time. And somebody's been resisting it, so it's time. It's time to leave it behind. It's very emotional. Gotta follow my heart. So I feel as though what we have here is a whole new life. It's a whole new beginning. And it's almost like letting go of shame, not being ashamed, not being afraid, uh, letting go of fear. You notice, I mean, this person is naked, blue hair, being myself, doesn't, don't, I don't care. I don't care what anybody else thinks. This is who I am and this is where I'm going. This is who I am. 
So I think it's, it's somebody is is following their heart. They're, they're, they've had a flood of emotion where they're at. There's no balance. Nothing is changing. It's very frustrating. I gotta I gotta honor myself and and let go of my fear and do what's right for me. I'm gonna be myself. So that's what we have here. It's like I'm gonna do what I have to do for me. I'm gonna be myself. No shame. No fear. This is who I am. Somebody may be expressing their feelings. And this is who I am. We don't jive. This is not jiving. It looks like leaving a frustrating, unbalanced, uh, unharmonious situation behind. I just want to be myself. I'm going to be myself. The lovers reverse. This is a contract that is coming to an end. A false contract. There is definitely no harmony. There's no harmony. There's a disconnection. There's uh, a lack of values. There's a lack of alignment. And it's a, a need for self-love. We have a separation here. A detachment. A de definitely a detachment. And it's very, very emotional. It's an emotional detachment. It's, it's a split. We don't, we don't, we don't jive. Seriously, with the temperance reverse and the lovers reverse, this isn't a good connection. We don't mingle well together. I need to be myself. So it feels like we have somebody here that is proud of who they are. Very proud. This is who I am. We don't get along. We don't go together well. We don't mix well. It's very emotional. So I think, I think there's going to be some tears shed. There, there could be some fighting with the temperance reversed and the lovers reversed. There could be a conflict. Okay, seriously, there could be a conflict. There could be a fight. There could be an argument where somebody's like, you know what? This is who I am. No, mm -mm. we're not good together. We're just not good together. Um, the high priestess. The high priestess is somebody who is very reflective, um, very receptive, very intuitive. Um, now, the owl is a symbol of change, and it's a symbol of the highest intuitive wisdom. So, and it is also a symbol of death, okay? But death, it can be a good thing, okay? Death and endings lead to new beginnings, which we see. So, something is coming to an end. This person um, has received the message, okay? They've received the message that uh, things are temporary, that, that, that it is time for a change. Um, maybe somebody is choosing to be single, choosing to go their own way. The high priestess is somebody who is very self-sufficient, um, very independent, doesn't, doesn't settle. The high priestess doesn't settle for something that doesn't jive, okay? Just doesn't. The high priestess is very spiritual, so we have a spiritual person that is highly connected to the, you know, well, you could say the ethers, you know, that has received the message that, you know, this isn't compatible. It's not compatible. It's definitely not compatible with the lovers and the temperance reverse. This person just knows that it's time for a change. Now, somebody could have been received, have received a message from a healer because this is a healer, a tarot reader, a medium, a psychic. Whatever, that change is coming. Change is absolutely positively coming. Okay, it is coming. And this per this person is is correct and they know it. It has a lot of high high intuitiveness, high intuitive wisdom here. Highly, highly, highly intuitive. Um, with the owl. Um King of Pentacles reversed. Um, ungrounded. We have somebody here that doesn't have a very good character. They're not of good character. They're not very loyal. They're not, they're not secure. This person makes poor decisions, poor financial decisions. Um, is very focused on their money and may do things to obtain money that are against the law. And we may have this high priestess that sees it. She sees. She sees all. The high priestess sees all. And whoever this person is, this person is um, lazy, spendy, makes poor financial decisions, 
does things that are against the law, is not really interested in love, is interested in everything but love, puts money and um, everything else before a relationship. So we do have somebody here that is losing their ground. They're losing their stability. Uh, they may be losing money. They may have squandered their money. Um, they're definitely unstable. They're losing their stability, okay? Somebody, and you know, when you get the temperance reversed and the king of pentacles reversed, this is, this is clumsiness, okay? It's clumsiness. It's somebody who's made some definitely poor decisions. This person, um, may have been unloyal as well in a, in a, um, sexual manner okay with the lovers reversed this person may have mingled with the wrong person this person knows it okay the high priestess knows it so we have we have a this is somebody that is very selfish very greedy very self-centered um looks like this person is going down uh his whole life is, is being turned upside down because of his poor decision making so we do have somebody here that is highly frustrated. This person is, is hard to deal with because um, it feels like they're dark. This is a dark, dark, and dark person, dark energy. Um, there could be fighting over money fighting over money there's de there's some sort of conflict and it could be over money this person is selfish all they care about is the money and that's all they cared about you know that's all they cared about from the beginning the emperor the emperor reversed so the emperor reversed is somebody that gets angry and upset this guy deserts you in the time of need Okay, this is a business oriented, a business owner. I think we have a business owner or uh, a boss or somebody that's in a, in a position. It could be a CEO, a president, a father, somebody that is in some sort of authoritative position that has been abusing his power. He has been. Um, whew, the emperor in reverse looks like he's going down. Now, he could fall down. He could fall down. Something is happening. He's about to learn some sort of lesson. That's for damn sure because he's connected to this world card. Something is over. Okay, because so this, this world card is an ending. It is. And it's, it's a big one. Okay, it's a major ending to something for this emperor. This is somebody who is very controlling. This person is controlling. They're not interested in helping. They're only out for themselves. Very entitled. Very mean. On the wrong side of the law power hungry this is a corrupt leader this is somebody who doesn't take responsibility doesn't want to be held accountable is under a lot of social pressure to perform to be somebody you know of high authority when they really can't make it they do things in a corrupt manner to obtain that authority and it looks like this emperor is going down this emperor is going down. It could be dealing with an Aries. It could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It doesn't matter. We have everybody here. This is a somebody that is in some sort of high position, whether it's an owner of a business or a father. It's it's somebody that is uh, uh, obviously made the wrong choice. He's made the wrong decision. He's done something based on... Um, financial gain and he's deserted his love that's what it looks like to me he's deserted his love um the emperor in reversed it looks like he's gonna fall down whatever that means he's falling down he's falling down he is he's about to learn a lesson he is looks like he's gonna be losing something losing his stability Losing his partner. Now this is moving into a new life. Learning a lesson. This guy is uh, a tyrant. The emperor in reverse is a tyrant. He is unreasonable. It's like it's a criminal. I think it's like this person is a criminal.
Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this guy is focused on money. He's focused on money, focused on his, his business, focused on uh, everything but love, focused on building up his, his financial security. That's all he's, he cares about. That's all he cares about is financial security. Ten of Cups, not love. So yeah, we have a we have a masculine because the emperor is a masculine energy. Okay, so in the King of Pentacles. So anyway, we have a masculine that is focused on or has been focused on everything but a relationship, and now his relationship is suffering. His relationship probably with his family or his wife or or whoever it is. We have this emperor who whose relationship is suffering, and I think there's going to be a split. There is going to be a split. There's going to be a breakup. This is a dying dream. Okay. Um, I feel like uh, this is all coming to an end. You look at this. Ten. Ten in the world. Okay. So this is, there's an ending here. There's an ending. So this is all coming to an end. It is all coming to an end. What's going to happen? I feel like, I mean, you could look at this, this kind of looks like a feminine. So it looks like this person has decided, you know what, this is who I am. If you don't like me, tough shit. I'm leaving. Although he could be deciding to. I mean, I suppose he could be deciding to step into a new life. Oh, oh another 10. Horrendous loss. The Wheel of Fortune is bad luck, bad karma. This emperor who has abused his power and only cared about money is about to experience some bad luck. He is definitely going down. He is definitely going down. This is a, this is an unpredictable, horrendous loss. It's shocking. Past mistakes coming back to haunt somebody. This is a fall from grace. This is a setback. Something's not working out for this emperor that abused his power. He's about to have a major setback. Karmic lesson. Karmic lesson. So yeah, we have an emperor that's about to get a karmic lesson of some sort. This intuitive has, has been talking about it, has been sensing it, has known it was coming. She knows it's coming. He may lose it all. He may lose it all. Seriously, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, that's big. Ten, that's a big deal. All these tens right together, right next to the Emperor. Ten, ten, ten in the world. I mean, it's the major ending for this Emperor. This Emperor is about to go down. He's about to go down. He's made some poor choices, but the, he has. He's, he's, he's done, made some poor choices. He has. It's very emotional. It's it, this, is ex, this is extremes with the temperance reverse. He's he's made some extremely poor choices. He's about to learn a lesson, and he could lose it all. This is a horrendous loss. The wheel of fortune reversed. It is a horrendous loss. Major, major, major setback. Bad luck. Past coming back. Past mistakes coming back to haunt this person karma is well a bitch anyway the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles is a self-sufficient independent person who is doing quite well um this i would i consider the nine of pentacles the empress and the minor arcana she has picked herself up from rock bottom she uh, has taken care of herself. She has gained spiritual wisdom herself. Um, Nine of Pentacles is somebody is going their own way. They're going to become single. Okay, this is becoming single, finding your strength, your perseverance, uh, to do it on your own, very capable. So we do have somebody that has... I feel like this, and you notice this person is looking away. Somebody is leaving. I feel like we have somebody that is leaving this egotistical individual that didn't love them. Okay, I don't think this person loved them. They love the money. They love the money. And I think out of self-love, somebody is turning their back. 
this person, this is who I am. This, the emperor in reverse is mean. Mean, mean, mean. Says mean things, does mean things, deserts you, only cares about the money. I feel like this, this, this mean person is about to be left. I feel like they're, they're, they're about to, there's about to be a separation. The Ten of Cups reversed and the Lovers reversed. This person is, has decided to step into a new life by themselves. This is a very independent energy. Single. So we have somebody here that is 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 be going their own way. There's no doubt about it. There's this it goes. Yeah, they're going their own way. Keep your money. I'd rather have peace. I'd rather have serenity. I want to be myself. Oh, here's our B I T C H. I knew it was. I just saw it when I said karma is a, and I stopped. Here it is. I knew it. So we have this person that is getting a new perspective and she's and she's about to speak up. Independence as well. So we do have somebody that is about to um I feel like this nine of this this nine of pentacles or the ten of pentacles, this person, it's funny. The wheel of fortune, what goes around comes around. This is like a reversal. It is. This guy abused his power. He abused his authority. And what do you call that when that happens? You know, it's like uh when the roles reverse. I think there's like a role reversal here. This guy is going down. And whoever it is that he left, he left in the time of need. Okay, he left this person in the time of need is now, I mean, this is very abundant, very self-sufficient. Stepping into a new life, this is success. So it's, it's interesting. It is very, very interesting. She's leaving behind this... stagnant situation focusing on her future not even looking at it anymore not even looking at it done with it and doing quite well meanwhile this emperor is falling apart he is falling apart So yeah, I feel like you can you should get prepared for a, a very emotion something very emotional because that ace of cups is emotional and the ace of cups is self love. It is self love. It's self love and, and breaking free because seriously, this is a, like some sort of split. It is from a false contract with somebody who only cared about themselves. This person only cared about themselves. They only cared about their money. They only cared about their foundation. They weren't interested in having a relationship. Now this person that basically uh, used another person probably for to deal with their sexual frustrations or whatever is going down. And that's what I got. Good luck. Going to be emotional. That's the main message. Be prepared to deal with some sort of um, emotions as um, somebody. This guy may get, may even. I mean, the emperor in reverse. This is somebody who get get really upset. Okay, this is somebody that could have an outburst. This is somebody that could get really really angry. Okay, get angry and upset because they're losing money or they're losing something. The Wheel of Fortune reversed, okay? They're, this is a horrendous loss of money. So uh, this person could get really, really, really upset because they're losing money and, you know, it just causes a fight or a conflict where it says, you know, I'm going my own way. So, yeah, I feel like there's going to be a split and I think it's going to happen, um... I think it's going to happen suddenly. I do feel like it's going to happen suddenly where suddenly somebody says, you know, I can't take this anymore. 
I love myself the way I am. I feel like this person's been saying really mean things, really saying really, 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 really mean things. That's what I feel like this is. And it's just like, I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. I'm out. I'll build up my stability by myself. I'm sick of being stuck. I'm sick of being controlled by you. I'm sick of being in a loveless situation. I've given you all the love that I can give. This is definitely a goodbye. Good luck.